Here we see Pilate backed into a corner by the crowds as he has asserted multiple times that Jesus is clearly innocent, but the crowd persists. And as the scriptures say, their voices prevailed. So Barabbas, a murderer and an insurrectionist, is set free, while Jesus, the Son of God, is taken away to be crucified. And as we meditate on this passage together, there's a lot we could focus on. There's Pilate being persuaded by the crowds to do something that he knows is wrong. There's the crowds trading their promised Messiah for a murderer. But the thing that always stands out to me in this passage is Barabbas. I wonder if he ever fully understood what happened that day. Like I'm sure at some point when he got out of jail, the thing he wanted to do the most was to just run as far away from everything that was happening as he possibly could, lest anyone there remember that he is in fact a murderer and maybe they would change their mind on his newfound freedom. But what if he had stayed? What would he have seen if he just followed along on the outskirts trying to blend in as they take Jesus up to the hill? He follows on and he looks up the hill. He would see three crosses. And on the right one, he would see a thief sentenced justly to die. And on the left one, he would see a thief sentenced justly to die. But as he looked at the one in the middle, he would come face to face with an innocent man dying on a cross that should have had Barabbas' name on it. For Christ suffered once for sinners, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. 1 Peter 3, 18.